What's up guys, it's Pete here from the Gaming Careers YouTube channel. Today is Friday the 29th, which means it's my last day at my job and uh, obviously this weekend I'm going to be moving across to my new studio, um, which is really exciting. So the first thing that I need to do is to tear down my current studio, which is just in my bedroom. This one you should be familiar with, um, I've had this kind of set up for, for over a year now. So uh, let's cut to a time lapse. Okay, it finished. Finished packing up my desk and all my peripherals and monitors and things like that. Actually took a little bit longer than I thought it was gonna take just because um, some of the cable management that I'd done was just quite tricky to, to pull back out, but uh, I got a bit of a sweat on and uh, now I'm completely packed up and ready for the move tomorrow. So I will see you tomorrow when I hire my van. Obviously I'm wearing my England shirt, first things first. Playing against Colombia tonight, so hopefully we get the win in the World Cup. Today I'm gonna to start building stuff, and the first thing that I want to build is the desk that I have got. Now because I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in the studio, I wanted to go for um, a sit-stand desk, so like a motorized desk that allows you to either stand at it or sit. Um, and it sort of has different settings to, to move between them. And the kind folks over at FlexiSpot have sent me one of their motorized sit-stand desks. And for this, the desktop, what I'm gonna be putting actually wood on the top, I'm gonna be using the IKEA Calbi, which is a actually a countertop for a kitchen. Um, but a lot of people on YouTube have been using it as a desktop. So I haven't seen many that have been used on a motorized sit-stand desk. Um, so it might be a little bit tricky because I'm gonna have to you know screw into the wood um, but let's see what my DIY skills are like. I'm seriously impressed with this. Look at it, it's so nice. Very, very happy with the choice of worktop from Ikea. Again, this is the Calvi in Walnut. And I'm just so impressed with the standing desk motors, how quiet they are, how smooth they are, how high it goes. You know, I am uh, six foot three, 193 centimeters tall and it goes easily to the height that I would use for standing desk, if not even higher. Um, again, these legs are the FlexiSpot um, standing desk motorized legs that can be bought on Amazon. I'll link to them in the description of this video. And the top is the Calbi Walnut from Ikea. But yeah, very, very happy about this and I'm gonna make great use of both sitting and standing at this massive desk. A few moments later. So we're now at the point where we want to start putting things on the desk. And the first thing I'm gonna do is mount my monitors. Now I have two 1440p monitors from Asus. 
Um, the main one being 144 hertz because that's the one that I, I like to play games on when I can. And the second one, I didn't want to spend as much money and get another 144 hertz since I'd never game on it. So I just got the 75 hertz bot, um, model, but they, they look exactly the same. So they should look good next to each other. And I've decided to mount them using some Visa mounting arms. Uh, just cheap ones off of um, Amazon, but I thought they looked quite good. I decided to go with two separate arms rather than just um, one one double arm because I didn't want all of the weight to be going through a single point on the desk. Um, so we'll see whether or not that was a good decision, but um, let's do another time lapse of me putting together these Visa mounts. <laughs> how those uh, Visa mounts have turned out. I think they look really clean. I'm glad that I went for the two separate ones as it allows me a bit more freedom in terms of movement. Um, and I can rotate one of them, uh, portrait if I want to, you know, for Twitch chat or things like that whilst I'm live streaming. One of the things that I've noticed is that the display port cable that came with the second monitor, um, which I hadn't used before, I just ordered it for this, for this new studio. It's only 1.8 meters long, which isn't gonna be long enough to reach around to the right hand side of my desk where my computer is going to be sat, um, so I've had to order a three meter, three meter cable from Amazon which will arrive tomorrow, so unfortunately won't be able to have the full setup done today, um, but pretty close. Um, next I think I'm going to open a box that I've been sent from Rode. Let's actually check out what we get inside the complete studio kit. <clears throat> so obviously we have the NT1 microphone, this is an XLR mic, um, very highly regarded in the music industry and uh, a lot of podcasters and singers use them. We also get a full shock mount, oh, God, it's really wedged in, this helps to completely keep the microphone free from any vibrations on the desk or as you move the boom arm it's completely separate as you can see it's just attached by those rubber rings that accept uh, that um, take all the all the shocks and bangs out of it you also get a pretty nice looking pop filter double layered very strong and finally the new Rode audio interface um, which actually is got a bit of weight to it I, I, I presumed it was going to be um, a bit smaller and, uh, and lighter than that. That really fills me with confidence that, that it's going to be a good quality, noiseless audio interface. So um, let's get it set up. mounted it all the way over on the right hand side just purely because I'm going to have my computer sitting behind it um, and I needed the audio interface to be within a USB uh, cable's length of my computer so I didn't want to mount it all the way across on the left hand side and then potentially be blocking two screens whereas I can have it all the way across on the right just blocking the front of my computer but obviously it stores away super easily as well out the way, my computer, which is quite small, will just sit on the back there. And then the audio interface is just next to my computer. 
2,000 years later. What YouTube studio isn't equipped with some sort of acoustic foam? And that was the question I was asking myself a couple of weeks ago when I was building uh, out the products that I wanted to use in my new studio. And about at the right sort of time, a company called ArrowZoom from America reached out to me and asked if I would like any of their acoustic wall foam. So of course I said yes. And they have now sent it over and it's sort of the last bit of my studio or last bit of version one of my studio that I, I need to complete. So they sent me over two bags here. Um, I'm expecting 12 pieces of their 50 centimeter by 50 centimeter pyramid style foam in alternating black and gray. Um, and they sent me two fairly small packages really. So they are very, very tightly packed and I, I guess they've been vacuum sealed. So I, I'm expecting there to be 12 pieces inside, hope so. Um, but very well packaged. I'm going to get these opened up and the reason that um, they're packaged so tightly is they need 24 hours to expand into their full shape before you can mount them to your wall. So I'm going to get these unpacked now and install them tomorrow. <laughs> As you can see, I've laid out all of the pads all the way down my hallway. Just a nice, cool space for them to expand properly over the next 24 hours. Very happy with them um, so far. They also sent me some sticky tabs to um, some sort of double-sided sticky tape to secure them to the wall. So yeah, I also forgot to mention that these things are fire resistant, which is great, especially if you're living in rented accommodation like I am. Um, where you don't want to have any issues with your landlord, you can tell them that these are fire resistant so they're not going to catch on fire and cause problems. So yeah, very happy. We'll see these in 24 hours when we uh, install them into the studio. I hope you're excited about this new setup as I am. I just can't believe how well it's turned out. It's exactly as I'd imagined, um, if not even better. Um, I do want to give a quick shout out to some of the brands that have helped make this possible. Uh, ArrowZoom for the foam, Elgato for some of the uh, products that you've seen, Rode for all the audio stuff, and FlexiSpot for the desk. Um, I will be doing the tutorial style videos for some of the Elgato products and the Rode products, um, so don't worry, I'm not going to skip over those. And now that I've got the products in my hands, I can really push them to their limits and tell you how to set them up ideally. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.